Hi, this is Shivarajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about vital sex and tantric sex. And the topic for this video is how to unleash your orgasmic trance. Sex is an art. It's not just a recipe that you apply with very specific given techniques. The uh, sensations that you have inside of you or that your partner has will be changing, they will be evolving, they're like a flow, different moods in uh, different times of the day or different times of the week or the month or the year. You know, there is a natural rhythm, there are natural waves and uh, what works one day might not necessarily work the following day. So no need to try to re repeat a given experience or to, um, to just follow a recipe step by step. You can follow a recipe, it's important to learn you know, certain, certain steps or certain moves in the beginning, especially if you are new to that. But eventually you have to realize that it's an art, okay? The reason why you go to a concert and there is a professional artist there who is playing this wonderful music is really because that person has been trained for years to generate that kind of music. So sex, it's the same idea. You have to tune in, you have to be sensitive, receptive to the signs that your partner are giving you, to the sign that your body is giving you, really be listening and play with it a little bit like as if you were really mastering this uh, musical instrument that is your body or the body of your partner. So you have to be, you know, really listening to the signs that come your way. One of the core mistakes that you can make is go too fast, too soon, heading to just a physical short-term gratification, orgasmic experience. When you have uh, the traditional type of, of orgasm, both for women and for men, which means that for men are going to ejaculate at the same time, you build it up really fast, pick, 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 then you reach the top and then you have your orgasm and then poof, and the energy collapses. Most of the times that's what happens. Sometimes uh, women are going to be multi-orgasmic so they sustain a higher level of energy. Some men will enter into the after sex effect period and just fall asleep. Some others will be able to keep on going or to rebuild uh, sexual fire relatively fast. But the point is that there is really a drop of energy which is massive. So the, the state that you are in just before the orgasm and the state that you are in after the orgasm is radically different. Right? So the idea is that instead of you, you reaching this orgasmic peak, you reach an orgasmic point climbing, then you reach a plateau. Instead of there having an orgasm, you just collapse, you sustain and you don't lose semen and you don't necessarily aim for a physical orgasm. I will talk about more about how it works for women as well, but just realize that, that you're not looking uh, searching for necessarily a peak experience. You're looking for something which is much more gradual. So in the same uh, tantric sex session, you can have multiple plateaus. You are going to reach a point and you rest a little bit. You don't let the energy collapse through a peak uh, orgasmic experience. You relax a little bit and then you engage again. You know, you wait maybe for five minutes, half an hour, or even an hour, and then you have another session and then you keep on climbing. And what happens then it's like the intensity and the, the power and the bliss and the juice that you are building becomes much more intense, much more powerful. So you can have multiple peaks and peaks and peaks and keep on climbing towards uh, an experience which is way, way deeper than what you would traditionally access if you aim straight and fast towards so short-term orgasmic gratification. The thing which is really spectacular as well is that if you practice that over a certain period of time, not just one day or two days or three days, but you actually invest this kind of focus over a period of three months, for instance, the peaks that you start reaching, you know, the expansion of consciousness and bliss that kicks in in your life, the amount of creativity, of visionary abilities that you have inside of you are boosted to a place where you don't even remember who you were before. It's like the, the, the bliss zone that you can access through 
the conscious use and activation of your sexual energy can really blow your mind. And um, in, uh, in uh, some of my personal experiences, you know, there is um, a certain level of bliss that is reached, I would say maybe after one to two weeks, maybe 10 days. If you are having sex every day, maybe one to two hours of activation with your, your lover or your partner, and um, after maybe 10 days to two weeks, you suddenly start entering into this bliss, bliss zone. At least for, for myself, this, this is what has been happening very frequently. And um, what happens after that is that you keep on climbing the, the, the bliss and eventually you, you, you enter into a space which is extremely sustained. All you have to do is to keep on activating sexual energy um, ideally every day, but every second day works, works as well. And uh, during that time uh, for, for men and for myself, I don't ejaculate. I don't, I mean, I never, you know, lose semen anymore in my life, except if it's, uh, you know, in a dream or there is a little moment there where I suddenly cross the line. So there might be the release of a little bit of, of semen there, but it's um, basically it's rare. It's never a voluntary uh, action. Um, but the point is that if you keep on building, like for a period of three months, you enter really into this trance state where uh, your orgasm is no longer a peak experience. It's a continuous state, energetic state. It's like being in this, traveling at super high speed in your consciousness and you sustain that, that energetic trance. So it is a form of enlightenment. It's a form of, you know, blissful energy coming and transforming absolutely everything inside of you. What happens is that your chakras, your energy centers get really activated. So the, the, the heart is exploding with vibration. Sometimes you might have like the sense of volcanic eruptions happening in your heart and you, the throat is super active. It's like your creative power is full on. And then the visionary center of your third eye really gives you this ability of understanding the dynamics of, of life. And then when your crown chakra gets activated, this gives you a tremendous sense of uh, presence and power in your own existence. So those are just, you know, some hints about the possible experiences, but of course it's way, way vaster than that. It's unlimited. So again, to, to summarize the idea here is realize that you are building uh, an energy space that um, <clears throat> can mature over time. It's not just a one time, one night experience where you want to reach the peak at that moment. It's like, it's something that you build up. It's a progressive, tantric sexual experiment in which you engage with full awareness and uh, and uh, yeah full conscience of uh, uh, what you are trying to uh, to achieve and build upon you know some of my peak uh, tantric sex experiences happened I can give you a little bit the time frame of how it worked um, with uh, that specific lover, it meant meditating together for two to three years. It means that we were in a meditation circle and we were activating, you know, an energetic connection with light, sensuality here and there. It means that we were not yet lovers for at least, yeah, I think like a couple of years. And then when we became lovers, we were activating. So there was intercourse, there was sex, full on sex. Uh, no loss of semen, and uh, we were at that time intensifying our meditation practices. So very, very intense, like I was full on, um, not necessarily other commitments at the time for that period of time. And then um, the next uh, stage after those three months, we engage into another three months where the love making, the sexual exploration intensified itself, and we were having sex like for hours and hours every day we could literally not stop and we were in a context in a spiritual uh, context very sacred ground with uh, lots of uh, meditation singing lots of practices that was creating a container that felt extremely safe so uh, that's when uh, personally i reached the the the, the highest uh, peak it happened actually after two years of meditation three months of uh, tantric sex exploration, light, relatively light, so it was not extended practice, and then suddenly, poof, 
we boost into this full-on power and energy, it was not even a discipline, you know, it was not a mental decision. It just happened like that. We just went with the flow and there was no way to stop that, that massive amount of energy that was uh, taking us forward. So it's powerful. It's, uh, you know, my life radically changed at that moment because it made me realize the, the power and the energy that is contained in there. And uh, here we go, 20 years later, <laughs> here I am talking about that stuff. The reason why I'm talking about it is because I had real experiences associated with absolutely everything that I'm describing. This is not theory. It's really something that, that you start tapping into and is boosting your life to uh, whole new levels. So to come back to the, the topic of, of this video is, you know, be sensitive, listen to the natural rhythms of your, your body and your mind and uh, realize that you are not looking for a temporary short-term peak experience. You're looking for something which is much more progressive. And again, that's, that's my interpretation. Other people might tell you something different. I would say that try, experiment and um, enjoy the experience. I'll see you soon.